everyone welcome to FOC class 11 before starting with today's topic I am having an important announcement for all of you and it is about sample paper book for class 12 information technology IT code 802 if any one of you requires this book or any of your friends classmates then you can purchase this book links are given in the description it is available on Amazon and you can place direct orders as well students this book's third edition is now available so please make sure that if you are in class 12 then you are purchasing this book because it will be very helpful in your board exam preparation if you are having any doubts you can ask me in the comment section So let us start with today's topic and it is discussing the syllabus of class 11 IT code 802 as given by CBSC for the current academic session 2023-24. So let us discuss the syllabus. First of all there is part A. It is employability skills. It is having 5 units. These are communication skills self-management skills, ICT skills, entrepreneurial skills and green skills. Students, this employability skills part is common for all the skill subject given by CBSC. So whichever skill subject you are having, you will be having this employability skills part common in all the skill subject. Then coming to part B that is subject specific skills, these are different for every subject, every skill subject. So here we are having five units. These are computer organization, networking and internet, office automation tools, RDBMS, fundamentals of Java. Students, out of these five units, many of the concepts, many of the chapters are already completed by me in my previous videos on this channel i will give you the link in the description so that you can watch those videos also i am coming up with one short videos for all the chapters that i have just discussed that is of employability skills and subject specific skills Already videos, detailed videos of few chapters of subject specific skills are available but sometimes the students are interested in watching one shot videos at the time of examination because many times it happens that uh, you are unable to watch all the detailed videos. In that time the one shot videos are very helpful and uh, you are able to complete them timely and score good marks in your exam. So that is why I am coming up with one shot videos for the chapters of employability skills as well as subject skills. So you don't need to worry and whosoever is interested in watching the detailed videos they are also available their link is given in the description you can check there. Now let us discuss about the remaining practical portion of your syllabus as you must be knowing that there are two portions in your syllabus theory and practical. Theory is of 60 marks in case of IT and practical is of 40 marks. So about theory portion we have just discussed the part A and part B are of theory portion. Now we are going to discuss about practical portion part C and part D. So part C is practical work. It is having three parts office automation tools, Java program, MySQL commands. These are of total 30 marks. These are the individual distribution of marks. So whenever your teacher takes you to computer lab, you will be asked to perform these practicals. First of all, the teacher will teach you how to uh, do these commands, do these programs, how to make them, what to perform in the practical and at the time of practical means whenever your practical exam will be there, you will be asked to perform these practicals. So it is of 30 marks. Then coming to part D project work, it is having two parts, practical file it is of 5 marks and viva it is of 5 marks. So you will be asked to prepare a file, a practical file that will be submitted at the time of exam 
and also you will have to give the viva to the examiner it will be of 5 marks so total 10 marks are allotted to the project work so you have to complete the practical work and project work to score good marks in the practical portion because it is of 40 marks and uh, the sincerity you show in completing the chapters the syllabus of theory portion the same sincerity is to be shown for practical portion as well because in the theory portion you only learn concepts but in the practical portion you actually apply those concepts you see how the commands how the programs are really working you make them you learn a lot of things so please be sincere in your practical work as well and uh, do it properly whenever your teacher is asking you to prepare the file to prepare for viva in viva the questions are asked from the theory portion as well as the practical portion the examiner might ask you questions from the chapters that are given in the theory or the examiner can also ask questions from the practical work that how have you performed this practical how have you written the commands how have you made the programs all these questions can be asked so whatever you do whatever you learned you have to learn it by heart so that you focus on the concept and uh, you do not focus on the rote learning you learn the concepts actually you learn the things actually so if you are performing well here in class 11 then you will not be facing any problem in class 12 because the syllabus is interlinked and uh, for example if I give the example then RDBMS and Java they are also in class 12 so if you are doing them here and uh, you have performed the all the practical work you have learned the concepts well then you will be performing good in class 12 because there you will not be facing any problem in understanding the concept because they will not be new to you you can familiarize with those concepts that yes I have learned these concepts in class 11 and now these are class 12 concepts some of them will be advanced concept but they will be related to the basic concept also so that is why you have to perform well in class 11 as well and class 12 as well so that was all for today i am reminding you again of class 12 it coded 0 to sample paper book if you require this book then you can check the description the links are given in the description also i am coming up with one short videos for the chapters of theory portion if you are having any other requirement then you can let me know in the comment section also if you are having any doubt you can ask me in the comment section so that was all for today we'll meet you soon in the next video till then bye bye